morning. morning. You know what? Contest season is almost here. And when you go to put up your club contest, or let's say you get invited, you get invited to take part of a contest, would you know where to start? You see, in the next 15 minutes, we're going to share with you a number of rules on how to handle being a contest participant. And when I say contest participant, someone who's helping organize the contest. And at the same time, we'll also talk about what to do when you take the responsibility of being part of a contest. Before we start, let me just share with you, you know, the first time I ever attended a contest. This was in my second year as a Toastmaster. I went to that event and the organizer at that time told me, hey Raul, could you be the timer? So that was my first impromptu role in a contest. I was the timer. From then on, I took up MCS to learn what the rules are. Now, let's find out more about what's on. All right, so you get to be part of a contest. When you plan your contest, hopefully one or two months before, you'd like to decide who will be taking care of these roles. Who's going to be your contest chair, chief judge, who will be your treasurer, and all those roles. Make sure you ask your friends to take part. You also need to have your team. From protocol officer, you'll need a greeter, sergeant at arms, and of course judges, and a number of people to take care of other roles. Who's going to be even doing the opening thought? Set delegated to the, a number of people. Very important as you plan your contest. Where is it going to happen? Date, time, format, which contest will be first? Are you going to have two at a time or will you have all four on the same day? And I'm talking about the club contest. Publicity is also very important. Make sure that it's being shown in your Facebook or social media. Share it with the community. That way they know about your contest and also other participants will get an interest in it. By the way, for decor, I'd like to compliment our friends from Floor Daniels for making sure that the place was well decorated and the next event. Thank you very much. Let's give them a big hand. Okay, something that's um, with the theme doesn't have to be too festive. And I really appreciate the effort that you placed. Very important also in a contest, the food. Believe it or not, sometimes some people just go to a contest for the food. I see that happen. They usually ask, I wonder what they're going to serve. Are they going to have sandwich? Are they going to have what's it? You know, things along those lines. So, guys, when you organize it, put some attention on the food. Now, in other contests that I've been to, they have raffles. I've been in two contests. It's a good way to raise money for funds. Sometimes they have these raffle tickets, they sell it at the market, and well, I had the opportunity to win some nice wallets from China Land. Very good. Now, as you plan your contest, make sure you have the certificates ready. You need certificates of participation for the contestants. Certificates for appreciation, those who accepted a role, like Sergeant at Arms, that was the last of the day. Make sure you have the date, the name of the person, that's all there. Trophies, very important. You'd like to delegate that to someone, someone who's going to make sure that the trophies are ready. What's going to be written on the trophy as well as the name of the contest. And make sure you also have gifts for those who participated, like the chief judge, the judges, etc. Very important when you organize your contest, you'd like to know who your chief judge is going to be. And make sure that you have all the forms ready. Later on, we're going to have a mock contest. We have the forms ready. That way, you have an idea as to what to put there. We, later on, we'll find out more about the judges. Our chief judge is the one who briefs our judges, the timers, as well as the sergeant at arms. 
and he also makes sure that all the ballots and time ballots are yes. Another important thing is the contest master. Contest master, he's the one who is going to do the talking lot in the respective contest. It could be, you could have a contest master for the first two events, and then after the next two events, have another contest master. Make sure that he has also the forms like the, uh, like the biography, etc. Also, when does the contest master start briefing the contestants? At least 30 minutes before the start. And make sure you have the numbers. That way, you can draw the speaking order right away. It's a good idea to also take a look at the program to make sure you don't misspell the name. Now, if you could put that on pause. Put it on pause. Something very important. One thing that a contest master does, he also interviews the contestants. He interviews the contestants at the end of the presentation. When you do that, make sure you ask. Make sure you ask, okay, so which club are you? Which area? And if you're going to interview the contestant as a contest master, Make sure you ask something that was probably related to his speech or to his response because you'd like to show that you were listening. Now, T, I've been to other contests and sometimes the contest master thinks that it's, that it's joke portion, opening night in a club. No, come on. The star of the show would be the contestants. So you'd like to encourage them by at least showing that you listen. Let's pretend the person talked about, hey, about the strip to, about the strip to Morakai. So maybe as a contest master, you can say, oh, well, you think about uh, in your last trip to Morakai, uh, what was the, what is the new joy scene? Or something related to the speech. So that would help show you the in this case. Moving on. So as you get to introduce your, uh, as you get to, to the, about the next ones, make sure that as soon as one speaker is already done during the contest, give a one minute silence. That way, the judges can mark their ballots. At the end, once all the contestants are done, ask for a two minute silence. That way, the judges can finally analyze their votes and the chief judge can collect the ballots. Also important, when <coughs> so we were talking about interviewing the contestants. All right, moving on. As the contest chair, now the contest chair. This is the person who organizes the contest. Most often, he is going to follow up with the team. We'll be asking, all right, and who is the on order? Who's going to be part of the contest? Which clubs have committed? So it's going, there's going to be a lot of follow-up, especially from your contest master. All right, from what we've talked about so far, the key learnings, what have you picked up from what we've talked about so far? Please, Cassie. We have to prepare at least one or two months before the contest. Right. Now, team, as the contest, when you, when you have the contest master, this is usually a club contest, usually it's the vice president for education. In a, an area contest, usually it's the area director. In a division contest, usually it's the division director. If you can't take that role, delegate it to someone. But definitely, you need one to two months to prepare. You're going to assign different roles to different people. Please don't try doing it yourself. Don't try doing everything yourself. Because if something goes wrong, there could be a lot of stress. I'll share with you this experience. One time, I, when I organized the contest, I didn't have someone to take care of the venue. Suddenly, in the venue that I had booked it. It was, a, it was this uh, upscale restaurant that had a wine bar. I never expected that they would have a, an ongoing event. 
that would go inside in the contest. So if only I had someone who had checked on that before, then I would have been able to, to consider other options. But then that's why it's really important that you delegate and give enough planning time. So what else have you picked up from what, from the last few minutes that you've spoken? Anyone? Contest master should put the spotlight on the contestants rather than himself or herself. Yes. Now, as a contest master, you could be the contest master for the table topics contest, or maybe for the evaluation, or perhaps even for the prepared speech. Please, listen carefully to their responses. And it would be helpful if you would take notes. Take notes of uh, small items that they say, then that, that could be the source of your question later. In a moment, we are going to have a mock evaluation contest. When that happens, whoever is going to be the contest master, please listen to whoever is the test speaker. Because later on, when you acknowledge the test speaker, you'd like to ask maybe a question. Just one question about what the person had shared. And when we do that later, join our mock evaluation contest. Whoever are the contestants, we will take them to a holding area so that you know they won't be able to pick up anything extra from our test speaker. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>